Hi, this is second grade lesson three, and um, we're starting with number series. Fill the blanks with the missing numbers. We're going to try number one and number two. So number one, we have blank, four, six, blank, ten, and then blank, right? We're going to have to find these missing numbers by finding the pattern. To find the pattern, we have to see what we're getting bigger by. We know that we're getting bigger because 6 is bigger than 4, right? So we have to add something to get 6. To find that, we're going to do 6 minus 4, which would be 2. So now we found out that we're getting bigger by 2. So we're going to have to add 2 for each number to find each number. Add 2 and add 2. So number uh so to find the middle missing number we're gonna have to add six so six and two six plus two is eight so that'll be eight and from ten we're gonna have to add two to ten to find the last missing number the so ten plus two 0 plus 2 is 2, and the 1 comes down because it doesn't have any numbers under it, so that would be 12. And now we just have to find the first missing number. And the first missing number is, uh, it should be smaller than 4, right? Because we're getting bigger each time. To find that, we're going to have to subtract subtract 2 from 4 to get the missing number. So 4 minus 2, sorry, is 2. So the answer would be 2. Okay, let's try number 2. Number 2, we have 5, 10, blank, 20, and blank. To find the pattern, we're going to do the same thing. We know that it's getting bigger, so we're going to add something to get the next number. To find that, we're going to do 10 minus 5. 10 minus 5 is 5. So we know that we're getting bigger by 5. So if you add 5 here, 10 plus 5, 10 plus 5, 0 plus 5, is 5 and the 1 comes down because it doesn't have any numbers under it. So that would be 15. And then we have 20. And the next number, we also have to add 5 to 20. So 20 plus 5. 0 plus 5 is 5. And the 2 comes down. That make it 25. So the answer is 25. Let's do the next part. Place value. Find the value of the underlying digit. To do this easily, we're going to do, we're going to write the numbers in expanded form. So 38 is 30 plus 8, meaning that it has three tens and eight ones, right? And the underlined value, the underlined number is 8, which is here, and it is eight ones. So that would be 8. Now, for number 2, we have 20. 20 in an expanded form is 20 plus 8. Tw two ones and 0. Oh, sorry, two tens and 0 ones. 0 is underlined. So the answer would be 0. The value would be 0. For number 3, it's different. We have 8 underlined. 81 is 80 plus 1. And 8 is underlined, so that would be this one. So the value is 80. Okay, let's try number 8. We have only 6. So in the expanded form, it would also be 6 because it just has 6 ones. So the value would be 6. But for number 9, we have 63. 63 is 60 plus 3. And six, because the 6 is in tens place, 
we're going to write 60 instead of 6. Let's move on. So comparing numbers, use greater than, less than, or equal to to compare the numbers. 3 and 8. You know that 3 is less, um, sorry, 3 is less than 8, right? So we're going to put 3 is less than 8. And then we're going to, for number 3, we have 6 plus 8, blank, 14. So we're going to have to find which number is bigger, or if, or if they are equal to each other. So 6 plus 8, that is 14, right? And here we have 14. So that would be, so we would put equal to. Now we're going to try number 6. We have 9 plus 7 and 8 plus 8. 9 plus 7 is 16. 8 plus 8 is also 16. So here we put equal sign again. Sorry. And then for number 7, we have 10 minus 6. 10 minus 6 is 4. 4 plus 11. So, or 11 plus 4. 1 plus 4 is 5. And the 1 comes down. So that would be 15 and 4. 15 is bigger, so we would put less than. Now we're going to do number 9. We have 15 plus 8 and 6 plus 17. 15 plus 8, 5. So 5 plus 8 is 13. And the 1 goes up in the ten tens value. And now we're going to do 1 plus 1. That's going to be 2. So 23 and 6 plus 17. We're going to write the bigger number on top. So, sorry, okay. So, 16. So 17 plus 6. 7 plus 6 is 13. 3. And the 1 goes up. Now we're going to add these two. That's 2. So we would have equal to. The next page we have odd and even numbers. Write the sum. The circle of whether the number is odd or even. Number one, we have, we're going to first count how many there are. So here's one, two, three, four, five, plus. So here's five. Altogether they have five. And then here we have one, two, three. Three, so five plus three. Five plus three is eight. So that would equal to eight. And then odd or even. Eight is an even number, so we circle even. And we do the same thing for the rest. Now we're gonna try number one. Justin ordered eight milk milkshakes. His sister drank five of the milkshakes. How many milkshakes does he have now? So he ordered eight. And his sister drank 5. So we're going to have to do 8 minus 5. 8 minus 5 is 3. So now he would have 3 milkshakes left. Milkshakes. Okay, thank you.